so we might have a slight problem. The police just came into the business class cabin and they told me that I'm not allowed to film. So I'm going to try to get as many clips as I can before the police come back and try to kick me off or whatever. I don't know. Hey, what's up guys? Jacoby from JacobysJourneys.com and I'm with Vina today. And today we're going to be taking a business class high-speed train to Nanning, Guangxi, China. Alright, so we went through the ticketing area. It's crazy busy in there, so it's so loud it's kind of difficult to film. We're in the waiting room to board the train here in Guilin. So you can see the station's a little bit older. It's not quite as new as some of the, you know, the other cities. Um, anything that you're excited for for this train ride to Nanning? It's been a long time we travel in Yangshuo, then getting tired. It's good to have business class to go back to Nanning. Yeah, so this will be a pretty relaxing ride. It's going to be, I think it's a two and a half hour ride. Two hours and yeah. It's going to be in business class all the way to Nanning. So we're taking this train from Guilin to Nanning, which is about 242 miles, with the cruising speed up to 155 miles per hour. All right, so they make an announcement that the train's getting ready to start boarding. So we went ahead and got in line. It's nice to try to get towards the front of the line because once they open up all these gates, you're going to take your ticket and put it through the gate, and then it's going to open up for you. And then it's kind of a mad rush to get to the train. Make sure you get your ticket and your ID. All right, so we've arrived down the actual platform. I apologize, my microphone cut out, so I need to dub the voice in this clip. The train is gonna be pulling up. So on your ticket, it's gonna tell you which compartment, part of the train you're gonna be getting on, as well as your seat number. So on the ground, as you're walking, you'll see there's different color numbers. One, two, three, up to nine. So each color is gonna represent a different train. So our train, the color is yellow, so our compartment is nine. So we're looking for a yellow number nine. It's a little bit confusing. You might have to ask somebody. There are train workers along the whole platform. So if you don't know where to go, just ask one of the workers, show them your ticket and they'll point you out. You don't have to worry about a language barrier if you don't speak Chinese. It always amazes me to see how quiet and efficient these trains are. It's really awesome to watch them glide into the station to a perfect smooth stop. So we might have a slight problem. The police just came into the business class cabin and they told me that I'm not allowed to film. So I'm gonna try to get as many clips as I can before the police come back and try to kick me off or whatever. They're basically telling us right now that to film in here I need to get a permit, which I've made several videos in the train with people filming on their cell phones everywhere. You know, I don't see anybody getting permits to be able to film with their cell phones on the train. So we're gonna try to get as much as we can while we're in here. Hi, Ma. Anyway, so we're in the first, uh, we're in the business class cabin right now. There's uh, five seats in here. So Vina, what's included? What did you get? Mm, uh, they gave me the slippers and the blanket. Mm. So we're to the gym. Mm. And some snacks. Tender, a little salty, 
but not bad. Pretty normal Guangxi style food. All right, and we got another another kind of chicken and potatoes. This one's pretty spicy. Then kind of an oily sauce on the spicy side. And then I didn't mention we also get a cup of soup, kind of like an instant you know, cup of noodles type soup. If you don't get the business class ticket, if you just buy this meal, you're in first class, second class, it's going to cost about 60 RMB. Um, you know, is it worth 60 kwai? I don't think so. I don't think I would probably pay 60 RMB for this. But when you're taking the train, it's included in your ticket. For sure, I'll take it. You know, I'll get a, a meal included with my ticket, right? Um, but again, if I was in the first class, second class, I probably wouldn't buy this. You can actually just buy food at the train station, take it on the train with you, and save money that way. I wouldn't say it's really good, but it's not bad. It's been for a long day, and if you're super hungry, it's good for like, it's good to have some meal. Behind me, there's an LED readout sign that's telling our speed in kilometers per hour. Um, this train, the, the route that we're going to Nanning, it's not a super high speed route. You know, I think it averages around 200 kilometers per hour, which is still a good speed, still pretty fast. Obviously, there's other trains in China that go way faster. Um, so, you know, this just really isn't intended for that super high speed. So one of my favorite things about taking the high-speed train in China is obviously the cost factor. It's really affordable. Um, again, I'll put the prices what we paid today. Um, here is the price of the business class. Here's the price of the first class. And here's the price of the second class. You can see how calm this ride is. Like I mentioned before, in that sign, we're going 200 kilometers per hour. And really, you can, you can feel a little bit of like a movement, a rumble. And other than that, like you have no idea how fast you're going. Really, you, you don't even know that you're moving. Obviously, right now it's dark outside, so you know you can't really see the landscape. I'll put some shots of the daytime. You can see you know, we're moving along really fast, but the movement of the train is really minimal. All right, so I've got the bed laid out. This is really nice. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we only have a couple hours. I don't really need to sleep, but it's nice that you can. For a long, long haul ride, this would definitely be really nice. You've also got a little light, sit there and read if you wanted to. The only thing it's missing is a massager. That would be really great. Okay. So to basically summarize this entire trip, I can easily recommend taking the high-speed train. May it be going to Nanning, Guangxi, or anywhere in China. I've gone to a lot of different destinations in both first class, second class, and business class. And obviously business class is my favorite because of this atmosphere. You can see how quiet it is and relaxing. But really, even taking first class or second class, it's not so bad. And it's a lot cheaper to take the second class, whatever class it may be. It's a great value, it's on time. You can get food if you need to. I wouldn't really recommend the food, but you can get the food. Uh, the staff is super friendly and uh, helpful, except when the police come and tell you to stop recording. Overall, great train ride. I really recommend taking the high speed train in China. We're just getting off the train here in Nanning. Hopefully we don't get arrested when we come, come through the station. The police never came back. They came and told us to stop filming and blah, 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 but they never bothered us again, so hopefully we're all right. We'll find out. We're back. All right, so we're getting towards the end of the Nanning train station. So now, what did you think? How was your experience on the train? I had a wonderful trip to travel with you, and I really recommend to take business class. And we're back. Welcome to Nanning. Yeah. Yeah, again, like she said, I really recommend taking business class if you come to China. Take a short trip, it doesn't have to be, you know, a five or six hour train ride. Take one for like an hour or two just to get the experience. And you're only really paying 200 or 300 RMB. So it's really not a bad price. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Hit subscribe if you haven't. I upload new adventure travel videos every week. And remember, life's about the journey, not just the destination.